Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Don Holy. Like I promised you, I'll be bringing up some people on the channel that will be educating us about how their life experience at either the training college or the university X. Today, I have a brother with me, which has been a friend for a very long time now. So I'm coming to interview him. But before I start to ask him the question, I would like you to subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment if you are new to this channel. So let me ask, start asking my brother questions now. So Charlie, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, thank you. Mm, so please, can you introduce yourself to us? Oh, okay. My name is Alive. Mm -hmm. Whatever you see me, call me Alive. I respond. Alive. Yes. So that's your real name. Yeah, um, that's my nickname. That's your nickname. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so actually, I'm a student teacher at college. Probably one of the top most college in Ghana, especially in Volta region. Okay. Akachi College of Education. Akachi Go. Yes. Okay. We would like to know, going to the College of Education, what inspired you to be to go to College of Education? Mm, that's a nice question because, see, so going to the when you were in school, as in class, take class four, I used to teach my friends how to read, and based on the comment from my teachers, I got to understand that yes, actually, I'm born with the teaching. So, people advise me based on my grade to go to other field, but I believe I'm called to be a teacher. So that's what inspired me most. You come to the teaching field. Oh, okay. At the point in time, I was hearing uh, your parents were saying you should go to support them to the medical side, but you refused and came to the yeah, teaching sure, side. What? Sure. What? How was it like at that time? Um, that time, you know, when the group comes like this, um, it can send me to I mean more than a place. So they are trying to suggest to me I should go to the medical field since they want someone like um either a medical doctor or a nurse in their family. So, but that is, that is not what I want to be. No, we might not be compelled to do what you are not willing to do. So I've come to do what I want to do. And that's where I am now. Oh, okay. So how was the journey to, to the College of Education? Like, who, how was the oh. application process? Like, and what process did you went through? Yes, you know, every year before you can go, you will pass through some process before you go to every institution in Ghana, especially educational institution. So to enter college, to be just like, how other institutions are whereby you have to buy the form mostly online then you feel that you send it through this kind of online this thing but my own i did it through don holy and then i, I just sent him the money and he did everything for me and everything was okay well so and that's really me so i was admitted sure so that's me so this is my student i can say that he's my student so Majority of you who kept on doubting me cannot believe that I have some of my students at the various institutions in the country. So, fast forward, my audience would like to know, since you are in a college of education, they would like to know the course combination in the college of education. We have um, ICT uh, science, so tell us more about how the, co the course combinations are. Oh, okay, that's good. The course combination, they are made in such a way that, you know, not all schools are built with them. Facilities to, I mean, render some courses or offer some courses to some students. So, based on my school, um, we are into the, the courses they offer there are ICT, technical, mathematics, science, but they are combined in such a way that you can do um, science major, math minor as one, and then you can also do the opposite of that, which is called science major, math minor. You can do technical major, ICT minor mass major ICT minor or ICT major mass minor English major and LA minor these are some of the courses are offered in my college as in Akashi College of Education mm, there are technical programs to can, yes. can you put us on that so it, the technical program they are just like one thing to the moment you pick one or you are a technical student you are going to do all they are going to do no, all either technical, are you going to is there any combination um, for that, actually, I asked much about my field, and then the one they introduced us to is the one I've just mentioned so far, technical as a whole on its own, because you're not going to be like, I'm going to learn only one aspect, because when you go to the field, you can, based on how the field is, you can, you can study, let me see, technical though, but they can give you home economic to go and do. So, <laughs> that's why you have to learn everything together, so that when you go to the field, and whatever they bring to you, you adjust to it. Oh, okay. Uh, so that is how that works. You okay. can even be in GSS and you come and put you a class one. You have to do it. Really? Really, sure. But you did the uh, GHS education? Yes. They can put you at primary? Yeah, they can send you to a school, but then master can decide where to place you. Maybe you are a science teacher, you get to the school to teach science, but before you are there, somebody was there before you come. So they put
put in a place where they think there's no teacher. They even a science teacher will teach RN because science teacher is already there. So you have to be at where they place you until there is a vacant in your area before you can go there. So in that case, you have to uh, get yourself into various that areas that, that, that wherever they throw you, you can yeah, equally that fit, that fit, that fit into the box. Sure. Oh, okay. okay. But I someone was telling me that uh, for, if, if you offer technical, you pick technical to get offer the College of Education, you have you have to major in technical and then minor in mathematics. Is that true? Yeah, it's possible. It depends on what you want to do. If you think you are good in technical, and then you go there. But when I say technical, actually it is many technical, but maybe they are, you know, in level 100 they will let you do some general courses which contain something small from technical, something small from economics, something small from visual arts. But when you go to level 200, that's where you're going to be specializing for technical. But my school like this, when it's technical, they mean technical. And there's nothing like other two areas, that is the visual arts and then home economics, they are not offered in oh, my school. Okay. I'm tempted to ask you one question, but before oh. I ask you that question, I learned uh, different different schools are affiliated to, like different colleges are affiliated yeah. to different universities. And someone was telling me that when you pick, pick a college of education, you don't major in one and minor in one. All of them, you have to major in it. Do you have any idea about that to share with us? All right, all right. Yes, actually, my school formerly it was affiliated to Kepkos, mm. so but now it is affiliated to um, Winneba. So I'm part of those who are under Winneba. Okay. And when it comes to specialization, mm. uh, what we are introduced to, we are to specialize in one course. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that is it. You can't do all in general. But the things are many. You can't do all. Like that, so you have to be sure I mean, go into one, specialize in that one, and that ends it. What are some of the courses you did in first year level 100? What are some of the courses you did? Oh, um, first year level 100, you see, um, course like STS. You see, well, can you tell us more about the STS? STS is just um, a teacher, teach, uh, it's, like, it's just like a program that is in all colleges whereby you go to your either primary or GSS, which the basic schools. Then you go and look at how the environment is, learn how they teach. Then you have field trip experience. And you see how teachers are teaching, how the challenges that they are going through. Then you learn how... Just like the intention. Is, yeah, intention. You yes. go and see what is happening. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Do that you oh. learn some coin transportable skills that are going there. You cannot be taught. But you only see them. It's okay, if this one is done, okay, I have to do it this way like that. Oh, okay. And then apart from that, we have SST vet. SST vet. SST vet. Yes. Okay, what is it about? I want to talk about child study, how children behave, mm. how you must be able to teach people who are marginal like us and who are not as normal and like maybe they are disabled or okay. visually impaired. Students with disabilities. Right. We talk much about that. We also have um, algebra, you know, it's a course. Even though it was algebra. a subject in SHS, but now it's a course here, algebra. Is it, is it much higher than the one we study oh. at SHS? It's even less. Less? Even less. Oh, come on. Then, but home economy students can do that. Yeah, they can do that. That's why it is basic. But when you go to the second semester of level 100, as we are now, the things are not easy. Second semester of level 100, do you do general course or special? Yeah, same thing, general course. For all those who For came? For all those who came. In fact, all of level 100, they're going to do general course. The whole of level 100 general, general course. course. That is in my college. I don't Not in your college. Okay. Let's say yours is under uh, Winneba. Winneba. So, so all the colleges under Winneba, Winneba would do the same. Yes. Franco yeah. is under Winneba, so Franco would do the yeah. same. Okay. Well, Franco is under Cape Coast. Franco is under Cape Coast. Yes, Cape Coast. Oh, okay. And their courses are different from our courses. This is different from they, yours. They are, they are doing different courses all together. All together. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. So, what are the programs? So, we have yeah. language and literacy. As a course, there we have, um, mm, I think, the language and literacy. We also have um, pedagogy. One Which pedagogy, pedagogy? pedagogy, talk about um, it's somehow similar to the SST words. Mm. Um, and like that, we talk about um, this kind of um, technical, small, visual, small, mm. and that also combine like that. So, the like whole thing that is vocational distance. So, you just pick the Fundamental one from all the areas in teaching the teach. Oh, okay. So that's also we, we do about yeah seven courses for level hundred first, first semester. semester. Yes. The level hundred second semester. semester. We also seven courses, excluding STS. So STS added now eight courses. Oh okay. Mm. 
So level hundred two was there anything like SCA? Yeah, there was SCS yes. every Tuesday. No, level hundred first, first first semester. semester. Yes, SCS. Oh, okay. You have SCS until you complete the school. What? Is that yeah. not stressful? Oh, it's very interesting because when you go there, each time the way they are behaving, actually, if what I'm going to meet when I went to the field, you have to you put that putting some strategies that to make you I mean fit into the system. Oh, it okay. is some students are just climbing over the world, doing things. You have to start adapting. You have to, you have to start adapting to the environment, sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. So there was something that I was hearing the last time. Um L1 and L2, what is it like? Um L1 is about the language we speak, you know. We have something for L1 and the L2. L2 is the English language that we have been learning in school. Now, L1, sometimes people refer to the L1 as the mother tongue. Mm. But somebody can speak airway. Mm. Or somebody's mother tongue can be airway. Mm. But his or her L1 may not be airway. Maybe I'm an airway right now. So the airway is my heart, mother tongue. Mm. But I'm bred in heart. Maybe I can't land. Mm. So in that case, I can't is not my L1. Oh, so it means that the, the, the language, the local language that you can speak fluently is now is the your... L1. Oh, okay. Then the okay. English language that we are now learning is the L2. Oh, okay. Yeah. So my audience would like to know, at, at first, when they were the College of Education were running diploma, mm. when you complete and you want to move to the second cycle, you apply for steadily with P. That means you want to get it at yeah, either SHS or the, the training yeah, college. Yeah. So you apply for steadily with P and they will grant it for you. You go for school for another extra four years. With education, you did educational course in SHS, so you go and teach at SHS. Mm -hmm. This time around, how is it like? Because now you are doing degrees, mm -hmm. so someone are completing training college mm -hmm. with having degree in basic education. Then someone who someone who also completed SHS with you went to the university, also went to do educational course. They are all having degree degree. Yeah. So in this case, if you want to proceed from the, you want to leave the basic school and go to either the, the secondary school or we are teacher especially. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's what I think is very true because um formerly it was diploma that they've been given to I mean successful students. However, now we are giving degree. And before you can proceed to go and teach at a higher level, you have to go for your second degree to your masters. Formerly they used to give um, diploma people who want to I mean go higher, they give that study leave. Currently, they have they still have that, but it is theoretical. It's not practical, so it is not. I mean, so it means it's, it's, it's not working. It's not working it's not yet. Working, if yes. it will work, maybe in the future. Even it will not even work. How because sure is that? It doesn't really work yet. those days when you are having a, a degree and you want to go for a master. It doesn't work those days. It works for only diploma people. Okay. So as soon as the diploma is out, mm. we expect that that one to also go. Okay. So you just go, then you go and apply for your masters. If you are if you are permitted. It don't now it's difficult because you if you don't you are applying you are leaving the basic field. Mm -hmm. So they will be like a teacher. So nowadays applying to go to the higher level is somehow difficult after you are done with this place. However, you can still make your way. So you have to go there, apply your master your masters. If they if they are, you are given admission, then you go. So in that case, if I complete college of education immediately, it means that I once I'm posted I've start to work, you know, um apply doing your masters lasts for only two years. Okay. okay. Yeah, two years. So it means that I can be teaching at the same time schooling. You know, for masters, sometimes they do it weekend. Sometimes some of the things are online because it's not something that you have to stay on campus. Then during vacation, you can go to campus and further the studies. Is it possible like that? Was there anything like that that they have explained to you when during your orientation process? Um, that wasn't explained to me in orientation, but because I'm willing to go to higher education, so I was asking some of the questions through my teachers, and they were like, um. You are to leave the school and go to the world. You are going to stay on campus for a year. Mm -hmm. So it will, it will not be like how it was do this way, but you can be going to the school and still be teaching. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you are teaching, you must be paid. Okay. Uh, so since they will not pay you, will you teach? No. Will not teach. So you uh -huh. still go to the school and be on Who campus. Who wants to? Do you want you to start and teach? Uh -huh. was, I'm not so that is how the whole thing is. So the moment you are going to further education, you are going to further and you will not be paid. The moment they pay you, it means you are giving you steady leave. Oh, okay. And so you just go like that. You go and finish your course. Even if you want to leave the teaching field, you go and do everything. You leave the teaching field like that. Oh, okay. That is how the whole thing is. Okay. But that's for payment being made to you because you are teaching before you apply for main degree, a second degree, you do not get. So away from that, I think you've given us enough information. So we would like to know how college experience is like. 
is it the same like um as it says or is there any difference between the two? Oh, that is nice. There's a vast difference between college life and then um, how long is HHS life? Teachers, those days, they were bullying all over around. Mm. You know, the kind of school that we went. Um, they were bullying, they would bully you every day, you read, every dawn you read. But nowadays, even though college, they read, they read though, but now we are, read, we, are giving, we are doing this kind of degree program, so the reading is not that much. My school now, they have a lot of mowers and then around. So, in classes, I also doing everything. The only thing you do is. When you wake up, you shape your environments, you clean whatever you want to clean around your surrounding. Then you're off to go. It's not like why, but you have to be on campus like that. Now there's a little free movement whereby you can go around campus, and you are given a time to come in before that time elapses. So if you decided to be in town and the time elapses and you are caught, that one is your own problem. I learned that time is 10, 10 p.m. Um, it's seven p.m. You have to, if you leave campus, you have to arrive before 7 p.m. What if you leave? Guys, with that permission, you have to come back before 7 p.m. If you have permission and the time that you want to come back is written, documented, that one, you are free to go. Okay, so it means carry your education to, you have to ask permission before you go out. Guys, if you are going home, if you are going home, well, who are you going to ask the permission for? We have all the audience there, is just there to know your whereabouts. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I you never knew about this one. Formally, now that it is not flexible, formally you can you can only leave campus thrice in a semester. What? During the, was during the, the time diploma, of... diploma people. So you can only even some colleges and I kept course. I left some of my friends. You cannot leave campus anyhow. You can only leave thrice in a semester. It's even somehow tougher than SHS. That is some college, but my own. No? By God, we are free to move. <laughs> For oh, sure. I catch you carrying your medication. Oh, the school is really changing. It's very, 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 it's now, it's even more than tertiary because, surely, you go to a prep and you want to go for prep, you can sleep and you want to sleep. Nobody mind, nobody cares. You are just like adult and if things are working, and one of the colors is a very good place where you can learn and score. If you're in that school and you, you flop, then maybe the school is not, you're not good for the school. Let me take, let me say it this way. No, let, let me, let me say this. Uh, if you are a student, you went to a school and you flop, mm. it doesn't mean the school is not good or the teachers are not good. Some mm. of us, for example, me like this, I went to site two, but my, my BC result was good, my teachers' result was good. My okay. though the teachers I went to is like has class, okay. Yeah. But my, my basic school is a site two. So yeah. the teachers competition was not there like that. But we pulled through and we had we, we had a good grade and that we went true. to a good school. So if you say that then maybe the school is not good, I totally disagree. I mean, I mean, I mean, the effort depends on the school. school. All right, all right. I said, I said that you are not good for the school. The school is good for you. See, the school is the best place you can be to learn. But if you flaw, then you are not good for the school. Okay. Then, then in that case, that means that much of much of the, school, the, much of the yeah. things depends on you, the student. the student. You have to pull through to yes. be able to ask. Okay. So um, before you can proceed your education to the higher level. We have some grades that you need to get, just like as it is, when you have this survey, uh, like they have, we have cut off points. Yeah, you get yes, it? Yeah, so, at the college, when you're having the grade, first class, second class, upper, second class, lower, third class, upper, third class, lower, like those, what, 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 uh, site, what class will you get before you cannot use it to apply for yeah. masters? But before I tackle that, let me address this one. See, um, what I, what, what I want to say is very important in that. You know, to, to go to the higher education, you see, you have to get something like first class, mm -hmm. second class upper, second class lower, then somewhere third class upper. When you fall between this range, you are free to go. And I want to also say that, you know, as a university student, the way you are giving the course outline for the course you are doing, mm -hmm. thank God for it. But that is the the most important that you need for your journey. So if you are not even taught Quran, the moment you get your course outline and you have your smartphone or whatever you have, you are free to pass and pass effectively. So that's why I was saying if you didn't pass in my school or I say college, then it's your own fault. So by what you just told me means that each the beginning of each term is that I've been given a course outline. Yes, they give you a course outline. For each of these, all the courses. Oh, okay. Then that one. All the courses. 
So you look at the objective, the indicators, indicators are the things that you have to do much into this. So you just look at the, um, the topic is here, all the things you must learn under that topic, they under the indicators. If you just take your smartphone, do some research about all those things. But in this case, up. in this case, students that are that can learn on their own and understand, they will have a they will have a fire hand because some some students are there. If you don't teach them, they can't yeah, study on their own. Yeah. Some are there, they can take the book and study it from the beginning to the end. Without, without the help of a teacher, they can do everything. Sure. So in this case, then, those students, Charlie, if, if you are not one of those students and you are in a college, please and please get close to one of these students who can sit and learn on him or herself so that the person can guide you through it. You don't have to wait for the teacher for everything, okay? Yes. So, so to back first match on that, that's where we have group presentations in almost all the courses mm -hmm. so that they will, you'll, be, you'll be put in group. You would take maybe chapter one, chapter two in that to come and present on that so that those who cannot read on their own and understand to they understand something from the presentation. Okay. However, I would tell them my school or my college, they teach even more than SHS. For sure. I believe Seriously? they teach more than SHS. They teach, they teach more, than SHS. more than SHS. Teach Papa. Let me see they lecture, wow. but it's like it's not more it's not I mean more of lecturing but they teach. No wonder this is a great school. Yeah, school, school. Great school. Yeah, I've been hearing of them for several years now. Mm -hmm. Even before I first had an encounter with any, uh, any of the lecturers that I knew in that school. Now. So let's go back to the upgradement. The class you need to have before you can proceed to the next level yeah, of yeah, education. Yeah, yeah. You have to get like first class, mm -hmm. um, second class upper, second class lower, um, if possible, third class upper. And before we do this range, you are free to go. So I've also learned that when you go to school, I think one week or two weeks or so, there will be something we call socialization. Yeah. What is it about? Okay, socialization. You know, when you go to a school like that, you don't know anybody. We are coming from different, different places. We have our different culture. So we are all coming together. So it should be difficult for us to mingle with each other. So during socialization, you have to know, you make friends. Some of the friends, you may be in one class with them or one group with them, whereby... Uh, you'll be able to get information from each other. So there we meet, we chat, we just go. Yeah, no, it's time you mean that. Yeah, <laughs> no, you don't, actually, I don't do that, you know me, so. You did do it, I don't yeah. do that, but. But yes, your colleagues did it. Yeah, that, yeah, they did it, yes. That was the time me, I even preached most of the gospel, and then it was very interesting. But wow. it was all about knowing at least some people, to mm. make friends. Okay. And nowadays, like, who know you, and not who you know, but who knows you. Mm. So you have to make sure you make more friends. I mean, get connected to people. Nobody may meet today. Maybe we'll help her tomorrow. Sure, sure. So that's yeah, how you meet. Uh, you make definitely. friends like that. Yeah, so it is. Yes, I've that. known you for uh, how many years now? Oh, I think like almost seven, seven years now. Uh, seven years. Look at it. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 15. Seven years seven now. Seven years now. So uh, that's that good. That is good. Seven that's years now. So, and look at where we are today by God's grace. Sure, sure, sure. Well appreciated. Alright, so you've actually educated us on a lot of things that we, we don't know. Personally, some of the things you are telling me yourself, I don't know. So, I would like you to give us your conclusion to students that want to apply to College of Education. And the impression that students, people have about College of Education is that once you go to College of Education, you are from a poor home, or you are not from a world to do home, or they tap most of them as not brilliant because they don't have good grades. What can you say about that? Oh, okay. In just a brief. Oh, that is good. You know, if you are willing to come to college, you, you are willing to impart knowledge into people, I advise you to come to college. You know, people completed university direct and they come to the field. In fact, when you compare those who come direct from the university and a college student in their work, you realize that those who completed college, they are performing much better than those who are from what the university. And they will tell you, teaching job is not a good job, so don't enter, go to this area as it happened in my case. I want to tell you, it's not how much you earn, it's about how much you can save. So don't bother about what you get at the end, at the month, at the end of the month, but ask yourself, what kind of life do I want to impart into? Do you want to just get money and sit down, or you want to impart life so that they will thank you for what you are doing? So I advise all of you to come to college, then become a great teacher one day for the nation Ghana and then the Africa as well. Thank you very much. All right, so thank thank you for oh. granting this like, yeah, interview okay. and thank you for oh. giving us a, giving us all the information. Yeah, thank you. So all right guys, you have seen he has educated us on a lot of things. So if you want to reach out to him, 
you can just link me up and then I will let you talk to him in person, okay? But if you remember to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notification bell so you get notified and release any video. From time to time, I will bring in up people from diverse areas who can be talking about, who can be explaining things to us to a, a better understanding than I can do because I am not in all the fields. I am only giving you what I know. So people will be coming who can give you more than I can give you. Okay. So I'll end this interview here and I'll see you in my next episode. Peace out.